In my religion, if I see somebody needs my help and I'm able, I must help. Mohammed Bizik knows that the children he takes into his home are dying. I came to the United States in 1978. I graduated from Utah State as an electronics engineer. I met my wife in 1989. We started fostering kids in the system. Since 1989, about 80 kids. I used to go to the children's hospital and see those kids who's terminal. The minute they're born, they have medical problem. They have suffering. Nobody wants them. I believe that every kid has a right to have a place to call home and have family. I try to make them better life. The daughter I have, she's deaf and blind. She has almost no brain. They're expecting her. I mean, she lives a few weeks, but uh, now she is in seven years and a half. I know she has a soul. She has a feeling. So I always talk to her, no matter what. She knows that I am with her, you know, and, and I love her. When the President Trump signed banning the seven Muslim countries, one of them is my country, Libya. The early times, they did the article and my story in their newspaper. From the first day, my story went viral, not in the United States, all over the world. Mohammed Bazik has become something okay. of a local hero here in Los Angeles recently. After three days, there is somebody open GoFundMe. It's trust fund for those kids. I remodeled my house, We're fixing with the roof and the power generator, central heat and air conditioning. What's the most important for me, it was their comments. I used to spend like three, four hours every night reading on them and cry. So many people said, we love what you're doing. We inspire us, you change our life. Uh, a lot of people said, I want to adopt children. Secondary teacher in North California. She did this book, Muhammad Bazik, Beard Full of Love. This book is dedicated to Mr. Bazik and his children. Some of them wrote uh, notes. Some of them wrote something, you know. This one, she said, you are my hero, Mr. Bazik. I love you. Dear Mr. Bazik, I hope you take care of your sick children. It really makes me feel uh, happy, you know. They're always good in this world more than bad things. We are brothers and sisters in humanity. Nobody wants to be alone. We, we need each other. <laughs>